they just was better to the, today. Uh, there's no excuses. We just didn't make the plays when we had opportunities. Uh, we just got to be better in a lot of areas. Uh, you know, we made some plays and we killed ourselves with some penalties. And uh, uh, we just got to be disciplined, you know, stay together and stay the course. How did you feel out there? You know what, I felt good. Uh, like I said, the second half, I uh, just got out of rhythm a little bit. Uh, we didn't st- sustain some drives in the second half. Uh, I got to do better. Uh, that one deep ball. You know, unfortunately, uh, I got to see the free safety running over and not turn the ball over right there because that was a big play and, and led to some points for them. Did you feel weight being the savior, knowing everything you won the fact the home playoff game, everything's kind of focused on you? I know there's other teams, but it was you were the focus of bringing the Riders back. You know, I just want to get the team, I just want to just help uh, win the game, you know, uh, and, and not try to do everything. You know, we got some good football players. We're just in a rut right now, you know, and I didn't try to go out there and say, hey, everything's on my shoulder. I just wanted to go out there and play sound football and help this team. We just came up short. You know, we got to give Edmonton, you know, their props. They uh, they were ready to play today. Curious the message. It looks like you guys made progress. Though, is there any consolation in the room knowing that you are playing with the upper echelon teams? Uh, we got to win. Uh, there's no consolation. There's no no prizes for second in this league. Uh, you know, we can be better and we got to be better. Uh, they had a scheme on the defense and uh, you know they played a lot of cover two man. And, if, uh, and just kind of put pressure on us, and we just got to be better, that's all. Kerry, is the message there's no home playoff game, but we're not out of this yet? We've still got a long ways to go? we still got a long ways to go. You know what? Uh, anything can happen. Uh, our focus now has to go on a short week and getting ready for Calgary. Uh, we just got to get back feeling good and taking care of our business is winning football games. That's that's the only thing we can control. You know, we can't control what everybody else does in the league. We got to control what we can do, and that's win the next football game. How you much does having this one game under your belt going to help you? I think it's going to help. Uh, just getting the timing of the game, uh, the speed of the game, uh, just seeing the feel. There's a couple of times that uh, I could be better with my eyes, and I think just kind of getting back into the group of things. and. Uh, so I think it's going to help. Uh, I just got to play better. I got to. I got to make more plays. Do you expect to play against Calgary now? I, I mean, this game just ended, so I'm not sure what coach is going to decide. Uh, like I said, we just got to win football. Game. We know we're in the playoffs, like you said. We just got to do um, things to get better. Um, you know, it, it's tough. I guess on special teams, um, there's a lot of young guys. That's just the way the team is. We lost a lot of veterans. There's another Canadian team in the league this year, and. Uh, um, it's, it's tough for the young guys on specials, um, you know, um, they're thrown into the fire right now and it's, you know, and, but we, uh, we can't be giving up touchdowns on special teams. We just can't do it. And uh, every man can get better. We can get better on offense. We can get better on defense. Um, but like I said, with, with teams this close as they are in this league right now, when it's anybody's great cup to win, um, we can't be giving up big plays like that on the third phase of the game, which is special teams. We just can't do it. What did it mean to have AJ leading this team today? Uh, you got to ask the offensive guys. I mean, I know KJ, and you know he's going to be a, he's going to be a professional. He's going to be a leader. Um, you know, I thought he gave us a chance. I thought we moved the ball on offense. I thought uh, we did a good job. Um, I like we were going deep. You know, those are 50-50 balls. You know, one of those goes our way. Um, you know, completely different ball game. But at the end of the day, we were, um, you know, we were basically we don't give up that touchdown. Um, we start the second half. That that last touchdown wins the game for us. You know, um, so. Uh, we just every, everybody's got to know we're uh, proud of the defense. We didn't bend, we didn't break today. Um, you know, we held strong. We had to, and like I said offense did well. But uh, it's tough for those. Yeah, it's it's just tough. You know, we go out there, we have a spark here, we have a spark there, and um, you know, we show some life, and then uh, we do shoot ourselves in the foot, whether it uh, you know it be a drop or a penalty or whatever it might be. Earlier in the year, you guys were overcoming that sort of thing. There was a lot that went against you, but you somehow found a way to win games. Can you draw on that experience to try to bring that move back? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of veterans in this locker room who have been through ups and downs and uh, different lulls in a season, and, you know, there's a lot of guys that have come, overcome that on a regular basis. So, you know, it's uh, it's time to dig deep and make sure that uh, those leaders are off uh, talking to everyone in this locker room and keeping everyone focused on the task at hand, and that's winning football games. Also, to get a road mentality because that's what we're going to be doing in the playoffs. What did anything you notice from them change in the second half? Uh, they didn't really change a lot. You know, they they came out and they played hard nosed football, and you know uh, they were better than us. Their defensive execution, or was it your execution on offense? What was the, what was the difference in the second half? Percent? I think it was a combination. You know, um, you know we left some plays out there that were definitely there, and. Um, they made some big plays. You know, they, they got a good defense, especially their front, and um, you know they were able to uh, to make the best of it. I think it just boiled down to us uh, stepping up and making more plays. Um, um, I'm kind of down on myself. I feel like I should have made more plays and contributed a little more out there on offense. And uh, you know, each week we just gotta 
you know, step up to the plate and, you know, just decide that we want to be on that win, winning column again. How frustrating is it in, in the locker room right now? Uh, it's tough, you know. Uh, you know, going on a, a, a seven, eight game winning streak and then, you know, t having a few losses back to back, you know, and then this is a winning team. Uh, you know, no, regardless of what's been going on the last few weeks, this is a winning team, and so it's always going to be tough on us when we're losing, you know, because it's a great, great group of guys. And, you know, we just got to step up each weekend, you know, within ourselves, and, and myself included. I feel like I just need to just do a little bit more, you know what I mean? That's why, why I was brought here, you know. I need to step up to the plate.